Diagnosing psychiatric illnesses usually involves interviews with patients or with their caregivers and self-administered questionnaires. More objective and quantifiable methods may assist in the characterization of patients with psychiatric illnesses. One of the core research focuses at the Vision and Eyewitness Laboratory at the University of Toronto, led by Professor Eisenman, is to study information embedded in visual scanning behavior for diagnosing and monitoring of neuropsychiatric disorders. That is, patients with neuropsychiatric disorders tend to selectively attend disorder-pertinent visual stimuli, and attentional biases to the visual stimuli can be monitored using eye tracking technology. For example, when presenting images of social interactions and dysphoric images to patients with depression, they tend to focus on dysphoric images more than controls. This nonverbal objective measure to determine attentional biases can provide measures of an individual's cognitive and neuropsychiatric function. In this work, we studied visual scanning behaviors in apathetic patients with Alzheimer's disease. In 2018, there are more than 5 million Americans living with Alzheimer's disease. And in 2050, there is an estimated 16 million with Alzheimer's disease. Symptoms of Alzheimer's disease include memory impairment, difficulty socializing, and apathy. Apathy is the most common neuropsychiatric symptom in Alzheimer's disease and is characterized by reduced motivation, social disinterest, and emotional blunting. Diagnosis of apathy in Alzheimer's disease heavily relies on clinicians' interviews with patients and caregivers, which can be ambiguous and time-consuming. More precise and objective measures of evaluation can better inform treatment decisions and prevent the prescription of ineffective or even detrimental therapies. As apathy is associated with social disinterest and emotional blunting, patients with apathy exhibit smaller changes in their visual scanning behavior when viewing emotional and non-emotional visual stimuli compared to non-apathetic patients. The objective of this work is to investigate the use of recurrent neural networks to characterize visual scanning behaviors of apathetic and non-apathetic patients with Alzheimer's disease on emotional and non-emotional visual stimuli. We presented images of emotional and non-emotional stimuli to the patients, and we want to observe changes in the individual's visual scanning style on emotional and non-emotional stimuli. To learn an individual's style, their visual scanning sequence on non-emotional stimuli are sequentially fed into a recurrent neural network in a sequence-to-sequence -sequence configuration to reconstruct another visual scanning sequence on non-emotional stimuli. Using the sequence-to-sequence -sequence model trained on non-emotional stimuli, hidden states were extracted for the visual scanning sequence on non-emotional and emotional stimuli. We called these vectors U and V, respectively, and the Euclidean distance between the vectors were taken as an indication of emotional blunting. Using recurrent neural networks to learn the differences in an individual's visual scanning behavior on emotional and non-emotional stimuli, we achieved high classification accuracies with an AUC of 0.814. Learning the individual differences improved the classification accuracies compared to using recurrent neural networks to learn group differences and using handcrafted features.